Good morning, it's your crazy old coot here. How you doing? So today I'm going to show you how to hook up HDMI sound to your home stereo. Here is the back of my computer. This is my graphics card. And I got HDMI and DisplayPort. So you're going to hook your HDMI cable here, and this will go to the receiver. So this is the back of my Denon Integrated Network AV receiver, model AVR-S650H, and I do recommend this. It's only 5.1 but it's a very, very good home theater system. So here is my HDMI in. This game four, of course it's the only one on the inside plugged in, is the other end of the cable that is plugged into the back side of my graphics card. Now I do have a monitor hooked into this because it's a home theater and it just makes setting up everything on the receiver side a lot easier if I have a monitor plugged into it. Therefore, the whatever the receiver, when you use your remote, the re it comes up. The settings come up onto the the TV, the monitor, instead of trying to decipher the little codes on the front of the uh, home theater. So this is showing how I've got all five speakers set up front. Right, front, left, center, surround, right, surround, left. And my subwoofer is right here. I have a powered subwoofer. Oh, this does have a network. And if you noticed here, I do have my optical plugged in also. And that's because for some reason, one of my programs does not like HDMI sound. And so, but it works fine with optical sound. So I just have to s press a different button on the front of my uh, home theater to, if I'm having to use uh, that program. Here is another picture, the back of my home theater receiver. And this is showing that, okay, the audio in here, that's for my turntable. Two aux input is for my tape deck. I already told you about the subwoofer route, and here's the optical out, and this is where you'd plug in a network cable. Here is where you're going to select your, your sound. So you hit your sound, and this would be your output, and you would select your home theater system. In this case, it's my Denon. And you click on that. That's it for that. To get to this screen, you're going to need to click on the device properties that was on the last screen. And you go down here to spatial sound. And now you're going to select what speaker configuration you're using. And in this case, I'm using 5.1. So you select, click on 5.1. And then you're going to go up here to additional device property. So now we're going to uh, test to make sure all 5.1 speakers are working. So we go here to additional device properties and, and this should pop up. And you go to advanced and it, this will be to select you the, the quality. So, uh, We'll go here, and then you, amazingly, you hit the test button. One. Two. Three. Point one. Four. Five. All 5.1 speakers are working. Success. Now, because I've connected another monitor, I went over here to the display settings to make sure that all the settings were 
the way I wanted them because Windows being Windows, it sometimes magically changes things for you. So basically, I wanted to make sure my display resolutions were correct. And now I've got this set up for du duplicate these displays. But if you wanted to use it for a second monitor for non-gaming stuff, I would recommend because it's HDMI and HDMI is limited in frame rates. You could do an extended display. But for me, this was just easier. Duplicate these displays and be gone. I don't usually use the monitor anyways. It's usually off. Keep in the back of your mind that if things aren't going quite the way you think they should be, you, you may want to double check uh, these settings. I'm not sure how this is going to come out, but I'm going to test it anyways. This is where we're seeing how much delay is between the actual firing the gun and you hear the sound. And of course, I've got my mic open so you can hear it. Ready? Pretty instantaneously. And when I actually went out and did frame by frame analysis, it came out to be like a 0.13 second delay. And uh, so that was all the delay there is. So it's it when you're playing, it's it sounds like it's right on time. And in closing, I just want to say this is how I set up HDMI sound for my home theater. I'm sure there are multiple other ways. This is just the way I did it. So all I have to do is press three and I have HDMI sound. And this is your crazy old coot wishing you a good evening.